Good evening and welcome to our virtual open evening. I am obviously disappointed you cannot be here in person. However, we have set aside three Saturday morning tours for families to come and have a look around our wonderful building. More information on how to book onto these tours will be shared later. I have the honour of leading this wonderful school, but unfortunately due to the COVID-19 pandemic, education looks very different right now. In the summer, external examinations were cancelled. However, I know we would have made significant progress again in both phases of the school. Since becoming a member of the Wade Deacon Trust, the school has gone from strength to strength and is now becoming the school of choice for so many local families. Despite the challenges of COVID-19, the Year 11 cohort left with some outstanding grades and a solid platform to the next stages of their education. That is what education is about. It is about delivering the best grades for students and we have made significant improvements in this area. Over the last two years, students in the secondary phase have improved by over a grade in every subject for every child. We have a fully committed team of teachers who are passionate about supporting children from nursery all the way to year 11. Being an all through school is what makes us so unique in this local area. I believe our uniqueness also transcends into the support we offer, not only to our students, but our families and our local community. This was more evident than ever during the challenging lockdown period and I am exceptionally proud of the support we gave to our community. When you research schools and you look at past results, these will only tell you so much. The results of a school are critically important and they have outlined the significant improvements we have made in this area. However, a school is so much more than figures and attainment measures. As a parent myself, I know how important it is to you to find the right school. If you choose to come to the Grange Academy, you entrust us with one of the most important and rewarding jobs in the world the welfare and achievements of your child. I want the Grange Academy to provide your child with an experience that cannot be bettered in this local area. The culture and ethos in the school has changed exponentially for the better. Our students look smart, they are polite, they are well-mannered and hard-working. Every parent that walked round here last year when looking to move schools applied and their children have felt well supported. Transition at this school is excellent. We are experts at it and we have an extremely talented and dedicated Director of Transition, Mr Bevan. As an all through school, we cover every single transition point and that is what makes us so passionate about supporting new students, whether that be in reception, year seven, or at any other transition point. Each and every school has its own character, ethos and culture. My role as principal, along with my senior colleagues, is to ensure this school continues to improve for the benefit of our students. As you watch this video, you will see that our staff are passionate, friendly and knowledgeable about their subjects. You will listen to students that have experienced transition recently and others that have been on a longer journey with the Grange Academy. Our curriculum is broad and balanced. It is designed to support students as they journey towards their GCSEs. We are able to offer a variety of subjects that will stretch and challenge students, but will also nurture talents and interests such as music, performing arts, hospitality and catering, business studies, childcare, photography and creative eye media alongside the traditional suite of academic subjects and we will give the students the opportunity to study the highly academic EVAC route. We work very closely with the students and their families to ensure they follow a route that suits their interests, aspirations and abilities. I believe schools should not only ensure students are well equipped with qualifications but provide opportunities to develop personally whether that be in a sporting context, through trips and visits, by working with other schools, work experience and other wide ranging opportunities they will have here. We have taken trips to New York, London and Paris and once the current situation is over we will again offer the opportunity for world travel. I want our students to have an experience at the Grange Academy that does enrich their lives so they can look back fondly after they have left and appreciate their time here. I want our students to grow into mature, well-rounded and resilient young adults. I want them to achieve exceptionally well. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and I hope to see many of you on our upcoming Saturday morning tours. Hello everyone and welcome to the Grange Academy and our virtual opening evening. My name is Georgie and I'm head girl at the Grange Academy. I'm Bobby, the head boy here at the Grange. We are proud to be representing the school and we wanted to talk to you about what it is like to be a student here at the Grange Academy. I joined the Grange from the Borough Primary School and when it came to choosing my secondary school, I went to a number of different schools with no real 
idea of where I wanted to go. When I came to the Grange, I felt a part of the school from day one, and that's continued throughout the whole of my five years here. I joined the Grange from Victoria Road Primary School. Like with Bobby, I visited a number of different schools, and when I visited the Grange, I felt that it was really welcoming. The students are really smart and well presented, and it gave me a clear idea of what would happen as I transitioned from primary. I've had the opportunity to take part in a wide variety of experiences, and I definitely want to go to university. We've been on a number of trips to different universities that have helped prepare me for that. I also took part in the Brilliant Club where I made an assignment on climate change and it was read by prestigious universities and graded. I believe that the Grange offers a wide range of subjects that suit everyone. For me, subjects such as separate science, history, maths and English are helping me prepare for a further study in medicine. Like Bobby, I also feel that I have had a lot of different opportunities at the Grange. I was part of a group of students who took part in a project for women in STEM. In addition to this, we have also visited Riverside College to explore the different options within the science, technology, engineering and math sectors. In addition to this, I've had the opportunity to have one-to-one -one personal tutoring lessons within the department, learning to play the cornet. This has allowed me to perform with the school at the Brinley, join bands outside of school and performance opportunities have helped to improve my confidence. I've watched the Grange come leaps and bounds in terms of education and student experience since I joined in year seven. <laughs> which just goes to show that there's lots of room for you to grow alongside our amazing school environment. Since the school joined the Wade Deacon Trust, I've had the privilege to witness an amazing transformation. Behaviour has improved massively since joining, among many other things such as the learning environment and the attitude to learning. This decision has made a massive impact on our school and has definitely changed it for the better. If there's one key piece of advice I could give students starting at the Grange, it'd be to jump straight in, speak to as many people as you can and make new friends. Take up any opportunities that come to the table and that come your way. My advice to you all is to not stress, worry or feel restricted as staff will always support you and push you to achieve. Don't feel that you can't do something as people will be here who can help you and nurture talents. I hope you enjoy finding out more about the Grange Academy throughout our virtual opening evening and through the other resources available on YouTube, social media and the website. If you want to ask us or any of the other students a question about the Grange, then feel free to contact us on our Prefects Instagram page, which is at TJ Prefects. Goodbye and good luck with the year ahead. My favourite lesson is English because I like to read and write. Uh, my favourite lesson is ET because we get to cook. Um, I really like drama and science because they just entertain me to me and the teachers are really nice. I think my favourite lesson is DT since everything is like in front, you learn how to do new things. Um, I like drama and English. I like drama because it's like fun and you get to like, like show like your emotions and like kind of like act and I like English because I get to show off my creativity and writing. I would say English because the books are really interesting in how we learn about them. Um, my favourite lesson would have to be art because I can show my creativity and inspire my classmates. Well, for me it's been quite easy because I just talk to anyone really and just make new friends. And it's quite easy because everyone at the Grange is really nice and supportive. It's been quite fun because um, I've got to um, meet lots of um, different people from different schools. Um, it's quite easy to make new friends because like a lot of people here yeah, like some people came like from their primary school with other people that they know but some people haven't so it's like if they feel left out like it's easy to go over to them and just try and make friends. It's been really easy to make new friends. One of my best mates, a lot of my mates from my primary school came here and I've made one of my best mates goes here, but I didn't know her in primary school. My favourite thing about the Granges and how the teachers are very supportive in every single thing that you do. They help you with anything that you're stuck on, and that's why I like the Grange. The teachers are really nice. They're really supportive and help you if you need anything. Teachers are very nice and especially most of, well most of them because they're really funny and but they also help you a lot with your work. Just meeting new people and getting to know all the teachers and how to like Ollie said before like all the teachers helping you. And stuff. Don't be
be afraid to make new friends because everyone will be wanting to make new friends. If you have a question, ask the teacher because they always want to help. I would say don't worry about making friends. Just aim high in the lessons and don't give up. Don't be scared and just be yourself. Good evening, my name is Mr McClendon and I have the great privilege of being Head of English at the Grange Academy. So why is my job such a great privilege? First of all, I've got the honour of working with your children every day. Secondly, I'm blessed with a really committed English team dedicated to helping your children achieve. Um, I've also got the great job of designing the English language and English literature curriculum. When you come to the Grange, you'll be uh, play scripts, poetry and novels which will open your mind and help you walk in other people's shoes. You'll also be taught the English language essentials of reading and writing. English language also gives you a chance to flex those creative muscles and become a really engaging and entertaining writer. Finally, coming to school is so much more than exam results, but I'm proud to say that the English language results at the Grange have gone up for three years running. So, when you join the Grange Academy, you'll be joining a school that's really on the up and this English department's at the heart of that. Thanks for listening and enjoy your virtual tour and open evening. Maths here at the Grange Academy. I'm going to introduce you to the maths team who are going to let you know their favourite maths jokes. Hi, my name is Mrs. Cullen. I'm a maths teacher here at the Grange, and my favourite maths joke is you never argue with a 90 degree angle because it is always right. Hi, I'm Mr. Gill, and I'm a maths teacher here at the Grange. My favourite maths joke is parallel lines have so much in common, it's a shame that they will never meet. Hi, I'm Mrs. Winston, and I'm a teacher here at the Grange. My favourite maths joke is Maths was easy for the Romans because x was always equal to 10. Hi, I'm Miss McAvoy, a teacher of maths here. And my joke is, why is the obtuse triangle always upset? Because it's never right. Rachel Harris, subject leader of science. In science, we offer a knowledge-rich curriculum which aims to develop and foster scientists of the future. We encourage students to investigate how the world around them works by developing independence, confidence and investigation skills, so they can be successful in the modern world. Through our curriculum, we also develop students' understanding of biology. Chemistry. combined and separate science courses. We look forward to seeing you very soon. Hola, bonjour. Here at the Grange Academy we study either French or Spanish. It doesn't matter which languages you're currently studying at Key Stage 2 as all language skills are transferable and we will build upon these skills when you arrive here at the Grange Academy. Our curriculum is knowledge rich. We use a variety of techniques to help you store this knowledge in your long-term memories. And this is a really important part of being an able and confident linguist. Learning French or Spanish at the Grange Academy is not just about learning a new language. It's about developing your knowledge of a different culture in the French and the Spanish speaking world. Our lessons are fun and engaging because we have a real passion and love of our subject. To see what we've been up to, please check out our Instagram and Twitter pages below. We're really looking forward to meeting you in September. Au revoir, hasta luego. Hi, my name is Mr. Wilmot and I'm Head of uh, Humanities at the Grange Academy. Um, the Humanities includes Geography, uh, History and Religious Studies. Um, and um, we'll tell you a little bit about why the humanities are so important. Um, firstly, they include a lot of what we call culture capital, which is really knowing stuff about who we are, where we come from. They tell us about other cultures and where we fit in with those other cultures. 
not just locally, nationally, but also globally. By trade, I'm a historian. I've studied history for about 40 years, so I, I know my stuff. Um, I've taught history for around 17 years. Um, I was inspired by the famous Indiana Jones film series, uh, especially the first one, I am old, I am history. Um, as a result, I wanted to stay um, studying history uh, as it was so exciting. And hopefully we can bring our passion for the humanities to you too. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McGill and I'm Head of Performing Arts here at The Grange. In Performing Arts Key Stage 3, you will study music and drama and in Key Stage 4, we offer music, drama and dance. We have a great track record of brilliant results in this department. As well as great results, we also offer a host of different extracurricular activities that includes our brilliant choir, dance club and drama club. We also have a number of peripatetic teachers where you can go and have some one-on-one -on -one lessons in singing, piano, brass and drum, guitar and bass lessons. We look forward to having you join us here at the Grange in September. Hello, my name is Mr O'Callaghan. I'm Head of Faculty for Design Technology, Art and Photography. I'm currently standing in one of our modern, fully kitted out workshops that has, all got, has got modern tools and equipment that will get the best from your child at GCSE. At Key Stage 3, we like to offer the opportunity for your son or daughter to study textiles, food technology and resistant materials. At Key Stage 4, following their options, they will be given the opportunity to study photography, art and design, three-dimensional design, design and technology, child development and hospitality and catering. I look forward to welcoming your son or daughter to the Greens Academy in September. Hi, I'm Mrs Nye and I teach food technology at the Grange Academy. This is one of our wonderfully kitted out uh, food rooms. We've got two like this and in year seven you will be able to experience cooking on the food tech rotation. We start off with knife skills and we work up to making uh, nice like desserts but also mainly savoury foods. Uh, we learn lots of skills, use lots of ingredients and uh, most of the children really, really enjoy it. Uh, which I'm sure you will too. Hi Year 6, I'm Mr Hutton, Assistant Associate Principal at the Grange Academy and also Head of Computing. I'm just going to tell you briefly what we're going to be doing in Computing if you join us in the Grange Academy. In Year 7 we start off and we'll look at e-safety and we'll look at a range of different technologies that you can use safely and responsibly to keep you secure online. We'll look at also some game design and micro bits using different programming languages and then we'll, we'll do some spreadsheet modelling design. Then in year eight we move on to databases and game design and some representation of data and then the final year of your key stage three we'll look at computer systems, hardware and software and developing digital graphics. In key stage four for your GCSEs we look at using the creative eye media GCSE and we will look at creating interactive games and interactive multimedia products. I hope you picked the Grange Academy for your secondary school and I hope to see you in September. Bye. Good morning and welcome to the Grange PE department. My name is Mr Allen and I'm head of PE at the Grange. We want to welcome you to the Grange and hopefully see you in the future. At the Grange we take PE very seriously. We want all of our students to enjoy their time in PE at the Grange and engage with lots of fantastic um, activities. We have a range of activities including traditional sports like football, netball and additional sports like racket sports, badminton, table tennis and then summer sports, athletics, cricket, rounders. We also do an abundance of extracurricular activities after school, um, football matches, netball matches, uh, with other schools and we want to try and make it inclusive for all of our students to engage in, the, in activities and find success where it suits them. We look forward to seeing you in the future. Best wishes. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch our virtual open evening. As Mr Critchley mentioned before, we were really disappointed that we couldn't host our normal open event. 
allowing you to come into school to tour our facilities, meet our staff and students, and get a feel for what the Grange Academy is all about. Nobody can be sure what the coming months have in store for us, but what we can be sure about is that we will still offer an excellent transition programme for students. I would urge you to take a look on our YouTube channel at some of the transition videos and events that took place over lockdown for our current Year 7 students, and please speak to other parents and carers about how we support their child with transition this year. Whilst we can't hold a full open evening, we're still offering COVID secure transition tours for families over the next three Saturdays. So you can see our fantastic facilities and talk to a member of staff about our curriculum, pastoral care, and the opportunities we create so that our students leave the Grange as well-rounded members of the community. To book onto a tour, simply follow the link within the description of this video and a member of staff will be in contact to confirm your time slot. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me through our transition email address and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Please keep an eye on our social media accounts and YouTube channels over the coming weeks as we share more information with prospective parents and carers. Thank you for watching, stay safe and good luck for the year ahead.